Lancaster 3 is equipped with Barnes Wallace's 11,000 pound tall boy blockbusters bombed hardened German U boat pens at Le Havre. The German battleship the Tirpitz was attacked on several occasions by Lancasters until on November the 12th, 1944, a combined force from numbers 9 and 617 squadrons found the battleship in Tromsø Fjord, Norway. The pride of the German fleet took a direct hit from a tall boy and sank. The ultimate in conventional high explosive bombs was reached with the 22,000 pound Grand Slam. This was a weapon designed to penetrate concrete and explode 30 feet beneath the surface, causing a local earthquake. Number 617 Squadron first used the Grand Slam operationally against the Bielefeld Viaduct on March the 14th, 1945, causing considerable destruction amongst its spans. This bomb was so big that it could not be housed internally. It was slung underneath and supported by a specially designed electrical release mechanism. The first appearance of 10-ton Tessie was at Bielefeld Viaduct. This carried a vital rail route into the Ruhr. After a few smaller bombs, the monster went down. A feature of the big bomb is the crater it makes before it goes off. Watch the left-hand corner of the white puff of smoke. The bomb makes its crater, and then... And here is the result. Although not a direct hit, many yards of the viaduct have been destroyed. The Nazi world is in ruin. Then another force came into action, Bomber Command. The U-boats were based in steel and concrete pens. These, said the enemy, were immune to any bombs. But the enemy had reckoned without 12,000 pound bombs. The E-boats were based in Havre, and other French ports. We had some 12,000 pounders for them too. 